correspondent Tom Harwood. Tom, what did you make of that? Well, apart from the slight connectivity problems <laughs> with broadband that some of these candidates had, this was really interesting because this was the first sort of public pitch, the first time we've seen these candidates together. Now, they've been hosting in a similar way behind closed doors in Parliament for the last few days, but this was a little bit of a preview of the other debates that we're going to see. We're going to see a debate tonight, of course, one on Sunday, one on Monday. This is going to become, we're going to get kept pretty sick of these faces. But it was interesting seeing those different pitches. Uh, certainly, uh, Tom Tugendhat coming across commanding strong, mentioning the army and every single answer he that he that. gave, <laughs> but to some extent also sounding potentially more right-wing than people might have thought. Is he leaning in to try and get some of those uh, those those Brahman votes, perhaps? Um, but also, looking at Rishi Sunak, starting the uh, whole conversation with the words, hi, everyone, trying to appear, I suppose, more of a, a, a friend to people, potentially uh, trying to, 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 to win over votes that way. I think Penny Mordaunt did appear pretty commanding in how she spoke. She's always been very good at the dispatch box, but there might be some more questions over her policy. Uh, very good at presentation, but when it came to some of those economic questions, she was saying, we need to wait for a fiscal event uh, in order to really set out the big, big brushstrokes in terms of uh, those economic policies. So uh, really interesting there. And then, of course, uh, Liz Truss setting across what is probably the most uh, ideologically free market approach, perhaps Kemi as well, in that pitch. But sadly for, for Kemi, um, we didn't hear a lot of what she had to say particularly clearly because that internet connection was not the best. Perhaps all of these candidates need to have a policy for broadband as well as what we heard. Levelling up people's internet connectivity. And, and briefly, Tom, I mean, how important are these publicised hustings? Because it's been a lot of horse trading behind the scenes. Will MPs now be looking at what opinion polls might say, what Twitter chat's going to say, what the headlines are going to say? about the public appearances now of the candidates? I think certainly MPs will be watching a lot of these events over the weekend, but also, crucially, it's the personal conversations that go. Lots of MPs have already made up their minds. I'm not sure we're going to see a lot of switching between these candidates, uh, but ultimately it's the votes of uh, the, the Attorney General, uh, Suella Braverman, that are up for grabs for the next round. Uh, will people switch between candidates? I'm not sure. It, it, it might be that actually... For the next round, which is on Monday, Monday uh, evening, it might not be all that much of a change.